Hello there, everyone. Hello there, Trina. Thank you very much for choosing me to answer a question for you here online. Trina is actually a good friend of mine. I've known her since we were in about second grade. We haven't stayed in contact our whole lives, but we've been off and on for a long, long, long time. And so she is wanting to know about her daughter, who is Rita, and if there's any romantic relationship um, I'm kind of thinking she means any kind of committed romantic relationship in the future for her daughter Rita and this guy Terry because guess what Trina the mom really likes this guy Terry for Rita and that's very, very, very rare <laughs> for her to like any guy for her daughter. So she's kind of hoping. <laughs> so we'll see what happens here. Let me go ahead and shuffle the cards. Now that they're clear, I'll give you guys all the usual information jazz after we actually do this reading. <sighs> Is there any kind of significant romantic future coming up between Rita and Terry? Uh, I'm nervous. Maybe because I know these people. Well, I don't get to say straight up yes or straight up no either way. We kind of have a tie going on here. Which just means that Spirit wants to tell us a little bit more than yes or no. So we've got to look at the details. So that's what we're looking at here. Hmm. The first thing that comes up talks about the end of some kind of conflict between these two. <laughs> and so I think our story is actually starting out in the future, unless something has happened since I talked to uh, Trina yesterday. I think our story is happening out in the future. And it's basically saying that there is going to be some kind of conflict between these two. They're going to have some kind of argument or disagreement. And then they are going to have a truce on it afterwards. I really think, though, that even once the truce is called, I think that Ms. Rita is going to be kind of mm, not so hot on the idea of moving forward on anything with Terry. She's going to be kind of saying, yeah, we're at peace. We've mended fences. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to be giving this person another chance to cause that kind of chaos in my life again. That reluctance is actually, is definitely causing some downtime. <laughs> this is a kind of a uh, taking a break from anything relationship-wise. They may be friends, but that's pretty much as far as Rita is going to let it go for a good little while. What happens after that? Well, <laughs> what happens after that is that the relationship actually does start to take form. They do start to get closer. She does start to let down her guard and let him in. And so the relationship becomes more solid. I think that he's pretty diligent in trying to um, 
get things going with them again. I'm not quite sure what happened. I do feel like he kind of messed up and he knows he kind of messed up and she knows it too. She's she's uh, not feeling like just settling and so it takes a while for him to convince her that it would be worth giving him a second chance. Once they do though, because these two get along so well, it looks like there is definitely um, some time of um, really happy, stable time for these two romantically together. I don't see anything where there's any real big commitment here, at least not at this point. We're actually looking up about, I feel like we're looking up about six months out. I don't feel like there's commitments per se, but I do feel like there's more of an understanding and um, things are moving forward very nicely under that understanding. Once we get to the six months out, I think that the impression I'm really getting is that it would be very tempting if nothing changes that energy between now and them for uh, the two of them to do something surprising <laughs> and maybe a little rash. I think that we may actually be looking at, there's one of two things that comes into play here. Uh, the most likely one is that there may be some kind of elopement. They may just decide suddenly, we want to get married, we're doing this, and do it just that fast. Um, there may also be the possibility of them acting a little rashly and creating another little person really before they're quite ready for that to happen. But then again, who's ever ready for that? But <laughs> at the same time, they're both pretty young. So, um, Trina, you may want to remind Rita how to be careful here. <laughs> is all I have to say about that. And we're looking at, that's going out about six months is what Spirit's telling me that I'm actually looking at here. So yes, there is some stuff in the future. I think before they get to some stuff in the future, there's going to be, um, they're going to have some things that come up that they have to really hammer out first. So there you have it. <laughs> <laughs> there may be a little more information than you wanted to know, but that's what came up in answer to your question, my dear. <laughs> okay, so everybody who doesn't know, if you would like to get a reading like this, all you have to do is check out my website, find my One Question Internet Reading, and that will tell you how to do that. I do also offer private readings, one or two question recorded readings, or live readings. All of that's on my website as well. I also offer Reiki sessions, both for people in the local area, which is Golden, Colorado, or surrounding, and for people long distance via Skype or via, via phone. And then um, I also clear houses for those of you in the local area, and I do psychic parties, once again, local area only. And on top of that, I have a addiction relief service that is very helpful for anybody who is wanting to get out of a bad habit. All right, everybody, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.